What is up guys, Andrew with No Excuses TV here, and today, you may be wondering two things. Why am I using my GoPro this way? Well, I'm using it as a mic. I'm using the mic on this to kind of help out with the sound on that camera. But today is the day we're going to talk about, the, do the full walk around of our 2021 Taxa Outdoors Tiger Moth. And so this is the Overland version. And so it's got kind of got all the bells and whistles. Really the only thing that we did not get when we purchased it was the rooftop tent, primarily because we already had one. So we're just gonna do a quick, I don't know how quick it's gonna be. We're gonna do a walk around. Um, I'll try to break up in chapters, uh, kind of different specs, different th main things as we go through, uh, but let's start talking about it. So, the one of the most unique things about the Tiger Moth, in my opinion, is kind of the, the, the style of hitch they have. It's not a no normal, you know, 12 inch ball hitch. Um, this hitch allows you for basically going a lot of off-road areas where you don't get as compra you know, compacted or a chance of high centering as much as you would normally because it allows for rotations basically at 360 degrees. But moving on, then you have your basically just a, a stainless steel. Do, uh, I use it for just storage, really. We put, um, it'll open up inside. You ha I, I keep my jumper cables. I keep, this is where we're going to put uh, the chalks for the um, tires, we put our electric cable, put my drills in here. Basically all my kind of tools that I'm gonna need, I keep in here. You hit, have your spare right here on the front. And then real quick, we'll show you this part. Up here at the front, they have this area where you can come in, where you can just come around to the side, just so we can see back in here. This is where we keep our cooler when we're traveling with it. All right, we're gonna take our cooler and kind of prop it in here our next big upgrade that we're probably going to do is get it to where we can have a uh, electric fridge, like a Dometic electric uh, cooler, put it there. Um, one of the first kind of upgrades that we came that went with it that was not part of the Overland feature was a little, the extra part was the AC. Um, the air conditioner was like an extra eight, six, eight, nine, six or eight hundred. I'm not really sure. Can't remember. But when most of the camping that we're going to be doing with the full family is in Arkansas. And if it's in the summer, you gotta have AC at minimum to get out of the heat for a little bit and help kind of cool it off at night. Um, up here on top, you have a storage as well. You have this little storage rack that you can hold up to like 200 pounds of stuff up on top. We have on our roof bars, the Tule roof bars, we have my brother's uh, kind of storage container that we for his car. We've been using that to kind of increase the amount of storage we can take. Um, and it's worked out great. We've also done a rooftop, roof, rooftop tent once on it. Um, and when the temperatures get a little cooler, we'll probably do it again. You have your uh, 30 amp hookup, which nothing inside uses 30 amps, so you don't really need it. You have a solar plug that's it's for ZAMP solar, but it's really a universal solar plug that you can use for any solar ones that you need to. We have a solar panel. We just don't need it on this trip because we do have the shore power that we're connected to. Um, lights. These... Uh, Fenders here are kind of neat because they're designed to be stepped on, right? They're designed to put, put full amount of weight on, which is great whenever I'm running up, jumping on here, putting stuff up in the tent or not, and then jumping back down and keep going. It's really, I chopped that so much more than I thought it would. All right, so now you've seen that I've switched from the GoPro, because the battery died, to my phone, but still the same reason for audio. But, so the five, we're at the five pound propane tank. Um, I, I carry one of the green cylinders with me because I'm not sure when this is going to run out yet. I haven't re used it enough to make it run out the first time. But the five pound, when you have this hose up to your camp cook stove, makes it so nice to not have to worry about weren't running out of propane. We have not worn, ran out yet. We don't plan we're going to. You got to step here on the side. Coming around to the back, you have your kitchen pull out. So you have your, it, it slides into your the Tiger Moth five gallon uh, jerry can which we is used for water um, and if you can see inside there's there's plenty of storage and again this is we're using this right this is all being used so it's packed full of stuff this over here this section is actually designed to where it can be used as a cutting board um, again more storage in there as you need it we use all of it as much as we can right now um, as part of the overland package one of the things that comes with it is a soft goods package and as part of the soft goods is this awning now it does have an, a big awning, awning canopy that goes around with it we don't it, it would be nice for the flies right now it's too hot and you don't get any air movement with it up so we don't have it up right now but you do have this canopy that goes out we've used it every time we went camping it's it's been great we've loved it it keeps the sun out it's fairly simple to put up i i can actually put it up by myself or even me and my five, uh, six year old can put it up together pretty quickly it all just compa compacts back up in here it zips up 
and never gets in the way. So it's pretty awesome. You have two doors on the Tiger Moth. You have one door on the back that opens up this way, all right? Opens up to the side. And then you have this other door, which is a big, much larger door that opens up out this way. Shh, okay. Baby sleeping. Baby sleeping? Okay. Baby sleeping. <laughs> so, our kids are inside of it. So I'm about to shut it. Okay, watch out. Okay, okay, bye. So as you can see here, a lot bigger opening. And honestly, whenever you have, whenever you have a, a lot of airflow and the temperature is not that hot, it will, having both doors open creates a great little like airflow through there that keeps it cool. But to be honest, when it's 99 degrees, it really hadn't helped a ton. All right, the door, we have three windows on it. Uh, there would be four if we didn't have the AC unit. But the three windows, um, Let's show you what they do real quick. So there's three, so there's three of the windows on it. Uh, they're all super dark to where they shade it, where it's hard to get sunlight in, but it's still great to where you can see out of it. Hey, Sissy. Um, along with them, you can open every, every one of them. All of them are able to be opened. You can lock them open up here, all three. They come with a bug screen inside or you go the other way, you have a shade that comes down. Um, most of the time we are gonna have it open just to be able to see stuff and go from there. All right, so that's the outside running around. Let's get around and start about the inside. All right, so we're gonna look at the inside now. Now, again, we're using this currently. It's not set up for fake, all we're using it. So it's gonna be a little bit messier than normal one. But, so with the Overland version, we get the, the, the soft goods package. And then soft goods package, you have the awning, which we already showed you, but you also get mosquito netting on both doors. This isn't a review video. We have, we'll have a pros and cons videos that come out later. This is just tell, showing you all the stuff that's part of it. Um, Let's go inside. I'm just going to take this down. We'll have to get the flies out later. All right, so coming inside, they do have lights. Lights already is already with it. Now, you can see I'm setting it up here. Originally, if you're using this, you can set it up with a table. So this is like set up in your, the, like how it would travel most likely. Um, this table, or not this table, this, uh, this seat that I'm setting on right now will slide out to fill out this complete area right here. Uh, when you do that, the whole bedding area is about the size of a full bed which is plenty of room honestly I'm, i sleep here with my wife and a six-year-old and a two-year-old without much issue at all now next year may look a little more cramped but right now it's doing good and if you continue to move inside we'll talk about the two storage compartments that they have in here all right so with both of these sides these storage areas you have carabiners you have these little elastic bands that you can use to clip them up hold up where they're supposed to go and it's, it, it's hard to tell on video. I, I, I agree, and I think so, because we've done this on video, and we've seen this on video, and this is, it's hard to show just how much of this area you have for storage. We have a ton of stuff in here. We carry a ton of stuff in here, and it does, it does honestly, it's great. It's a lot more spot space than I thought. Now, if you can zoom in, I'd use the hand zoom. Back here, behind it, in this little box that you have back here, that's where we have batteries. Now, batteries is an option that does not automatically come with the Tiger Moth, but if you add that option, like if you're gonna be running off-grid, um, that's where they'll put those. You can put up to two of the 20, Group 24 batteries. And it comes with a little uh, vent fan that I, we just use it a lot. You, uh, if it's stuffy, it's great for it. We use it to keep air circulating when we have the AC on. Um, and again, we're using this sucker. One thing is you'll see, we have, there's a lot more carabiners that we have that don't wasn't already in there. We added to it. Of, Apparently, obviously, obviously. Um, we use a lot of electricity with the videos that we're doing, with all the little g gadgets that we like, the tech stuff. Um, and, and this place does a great job when you're shore, hooked up to shore. There's so much power. When you're just running 12 volt, there's a little bit less. Um, but up here at the front, you have your 120 volt outlets over here on the left. You have your breaker box here in the middle. And then you have your 12 volt. You have two USB 12 volt ports. Um, and then you have your basic 12 volt that you can put an adapter in if you need to. Uh, storage up here at the front. Um, we can talk about lots real quick, and then AC. That's where that that's where that other window would be if you had that other window. Uh, lighting. So there are four switches that we have here. So this top one here, this first one, this first switch. When I turn it on, it's going to turn the light on outside your galley. Basically, it's yellow lights designed to keep bugs away. And then this second light here will turn on this light bar that you see right here. And then next to it may be kind of hard to see. The third light is going to light up back here in the back. 
you can kind of see this lighting up that back area. And then this fourth one, it really kind of helps out at night, that same back area where you have all your electronics at, you can turn it on and just be a red light to keep that night vision, to not have to worry about losing that night vision as you're, you know, waking up and stuff. So we're back at the house, and one thing I forgot to mention uh, while we're at the campsite at the, the trailer was two, it does have stabilizers that you can jack down on both sides. Now those are not there. They're not there to help level it, really. Um, it's just there to stabilize because as soon as you raise one, it's gonna lift the other side. Another big thing that I forgot to mention that kind of distinguishes the Overland versus like the regular um, trailer is that they are, it is axleless. It does not have an axle between the tires. They're independent suspension to increase the, or decrease the likelihood that you get high centered when you're taking off backcountry. So we'll show you what that looks like. Here, the lighting is not great. But you obviously, you can see, you can kind of see, again, no axle, dark, but you should see it. You have that independent suspension for each one of those tires. All right, so that's that's basically it for the, the Tiger Moth. We've done uh, three big trips in it. We've gone to Badlands, we've gone to two lakes. Um, spent a lot more time uh, already in it than I thought we were going to be able to since we've had it for about six weeks. Um, again, the pros videos are coming, the cons videos that we've had are coming. We're going to talk about even the, the the upgrades we've done that has nothing to do with pros or cons but just the upgrades that we've had so be sure if you're not subscribed you need to click that subscribe button down below as of right as today we had like 469 subscribers we're on our path to a thousand which is a big milestone that we're shooting for so please hit that like and subscribe button we're going to talk a lot more about these this taxa what we call pearl and these videos coming up and we will see you in the next one